Hey guys, EVP Man here. Now in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the brand new Jabra Valve 275. Now these are fantastic headphones for those of you who are looking to have great call quality because you work from home. Or let's say you go to school from home. Or just you spend a lot of time on the phone and would like to have the best audio quality because hey, your business is on the phone. Uh, these, not only are they great for indoor, but if you are gonna be walking outside and you wanna have something on that you can listen to music and also take great calls, well, this is the headphone for you. So let's go ahead and check out the video. Make sure you check it out because these, well, they promise that they'll sound amazing and we're gonna do an EBP band style audio and call quality test, so we'll check them out and see how good they are. Now, before we get into the unboxing of the Jabra Evolve 75, what we're gonna do is talk about the specs and you know why are you gonna to wanna to consider these? Because they're very well specced. You're talking about 36 hours of battery life with ANC off. 36 hours. Now, if you do turn on active noise canceling, they still perform really well. You're talking about 33 hours of battery life. Now, uh, 15 minutes, uh, pretty spectacular too, all right? With the 15 minutes, you're gonna be able to get six hours of usage. Yeah, not an hour like we've seen with some, uh, some of the smaller headphones, but 15 minutes is gonna give you six hours. You also then get 24 hours of talk time. So if you're gonna be talking on these nonstop, not just in listening mode, right? but talking, then that's what you can expect. Now from uh, the active noise canceling, you can expect 11 levels of active noise canceling. And the headphones here, or this specific headset has, you know, about eight mics, and four of them are gonna be used when you have that active noise canceling. So it's listening and it's giving you the best audio experience. Now they do have hear through technology, so you're gonna be able to hear what's going on around you. So situational awareness, especially if you're outside, um, is important. And you also get 40 millimeter speaker drivers. Now from a Bluetooth perspective, Bluetooth 5.2, you do have multi-connect, which means it's gonna allow you to connect to two devices at the same time, and you can also pair up to eight devices at the same time. Now these do have on-head detection, so when you put them on, they know. And then also, these are really designed also for the business professional, so Microsoft Teams, MFI, Zoom, Amazon Alexa is built in. Packed, packed, packed with integrating features that are gonna support all of those professional office needs. Now inside the box, you're gonna find a travel pouch, and this travel pouch is, is not a crush-proof pouch, right? So it still travels well because this is really flexible and it folds like you see here. But inside, I wanted to highlight that it does have a USB-A dongle that's gonna allow you to do a direct connection to your PC, to your tablet, to whatever device it is. And I wanted to highlight that even though it's USB-A, uh, you can have a USB-C converter and it does work. I've tested this with the USB converter. It doesn't work without a problem. The cool thing about this is that if you have software that is running on your PC, like for an IP phone, you'll be able to use this with your IP phone. And if you are connecting to an IP phone, you could just direct connect this to the side of your IP phone and then enable your headphone, especially if you're working in a shared environment or even if you have an IP phone at home. Now, you also then have your headphones, and we'll take a look at those in a second, a USB-C uh, cable. And then over here, I have actually charging. So, so I was supplied uh, with this little charging dock, which again, you can connect to either a charging brick or to your PC to charge your uh, headphones. And you can see where you have the charging connection there. So this is the complete kit of what you can expect. Now, focusing on the headset itself, uh, a lot of nice stuff going on here. Uh, and one of the things I think is the coolest is the fact that it has this mic that comes out. Now, uh, you have a lot of different mics here. They're gonna give you a superior call experience. And we're gonna see that in a couple seconds. But first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the overall headband. So you have a lot of flexibility in the headband, nice memory foam here, leatherette type material. Over here, you can see, and we'll flip this over, um, how you have, it's an on-ear model, not an over-ear model. So depending on your preference, you know, that may be a buy or not buy decision. Um, I'm fine with this on ear. I don't overheat. Um, it stays cool, which is really important to me. And then what you have is, again, on the bottom here, you have some controls, right? And I'll go ahead and remove some of the plastic so we can see it. Uh, so here, what you, see, what you have is your on off switch. You do have, um, you know, some multifunction buttons here, volume buttons on this side as well that are accessible that are gonna give you the ability to control you know, all aspects of, of your experience. So we'll, we'll take this off, a little bit, uh, nice glue there, right, holding it together. So you can see um, all your controls here, right? You can see your, your mic that pops out here. Here you see your power switch, USB-C, um, and then over here, another multifunction control. And then uh, you also then have a, a button right here that allows you to control, um, again, some certain activities when it comes to uh, being more situationally aware. 
Uh, you do have the ability to swap these, and you can see how you can move those left and right really nicely. And then you have the ability to pull these out if you'd like. As I put these on, I just want to show you what they would look like. So what I like about these is that as I have this on, and I actually have it backwards because the antenna should be facing forward. Uh, what I like about these is that they don't really have a large footprint. So I'm going to turn to the right. I'm going to turn to the left. And what I like about is, again, that the, the footprint is small, so you don't have something that's super large. And that, you know, as, you know, if you want to really have a, a solid conversation with someone, you can pull this guy down and see that's what it would look like, right? And have, uh, have the boom mic really accentuate the uh, audio quality. Or you can put it back up, right? So this is what they would look like. Uh, very lightweight, no vising. Um, these are all day headphones or headsets, however you want to refer to them. They're great. Now in this test, we're going to test out the Jabra Evolve 752s, but two tests in noise and two tests in quiet. The first one is going to be with the mic up, and we're going to do the full test. And then we're going to do with the mic down so you can see the difference. As you take a look at our decibel readings, anywhere between 24 and 28 decibels in noise. It's going to switch. Now this is what the sound quality would sound like making a phone call on the Jabra Evolve 752 in a quiet environment. This is a test, one, two, three. This is our test. Next, we're gonna add wind to the environment. Now, this is what the Jabra Evolve 752 sound like with wind in the environment. This is a test. This is what they would sound like with wind. Let's go ahead and add some noise. We're continuing our test with the Jabra Evolve 75 version two, but this time in a noisy environment. As we take a look at our decibel readings, anywhere between 40 all the way up to, let's say 79 decibels in noise. Let's go to switch. Now, this is what the call quality would sound like when making a phone call on the Jabra Evolve 752s, but this time with the mic up. This is a test, one, two, three, this is our test. Now for those of you who are wondering what the Jabra Evolve 752s would sound like with an infant crying in the background, this is what it would sound like with an infant crying in the background. Now for those of you wondering about how do they sound if a dog were barking in the background, this is what they would sound like with a dog barking in the background. Now for those of you who are wondering what it would sound like with a doorbell ringing in the background, this is what they would sound like with a doorbell ringing in the background. Now we're going to continue our test with the Jabra 752s, but this time with the mic down, and we're going to go through the same audio test, same audio levels, everything is the same. So this is what they would sound like if you were making a phone call in a quiet environment. This is a test, one, two, three, this is our test. Now, if you're wondering what they would sound like with wind in the environment and the mic down, this is what they would sound like with the mic down in a windy environment. Now we're continuing our test of the Jabra Evolve 75 version twos, but this time in a noisy environment, still with the same decibel readings, anywhere between 40 to 79 decibels in noise. Let's go to switch. Now this is what the Jabra Evolve 75 II would sound like in a noisy environment. This is a test, one, two, three, this is our test. Again, this is what they sound like with the mic down in a noisy environment. Now for those of you wondering what the Jabra Evolve 2 would sound like with an infant crying in the background, this is what they would sound like with the mic down with an infant crying in the background. Now for those of you wondering what they would sound like with a dog barking in the background, this is what they would sound like with the dog barking in the background and with the mic down. Now, if you're wondering what they sound like with the doorbell ringing with the mic down, this is what they would sound like with the doorbell ringing and the mic down. Now, before wrapping up the audio test, I wanted to highlight that if you do push the mic up, you do get a mute effect. So if you are talking and you have the mic down on a call and you push it up, you will get a mute function. When you bring it back down, it does unmute. So now let's talk about what the audio quality is like on the Jabra Evolve 275. Now, these have bass, mids, and high separation you get good audio quality. You also have the ability to mo modify or personalize your audio experience. You do have decent bass so that you are going to be able to get a punchy bass experience with this. But also keep in mind that these are on ear, right? They're not over the ear, which is kind of one of my personal preferences. You have active noise canceling, which is really good. It's very responsive and makes things melt away. You also then have your hear through technology, which gives you, again, the ability to hear everything that's around you. And the one thing I will highlight is that like right now I turned it on. It's not so much that it's digital. There's a different hearing to it. It's I can tell that that it is there's there's some type of I don't know synthesizing going on, but there is something going on here that I can actually hear something that is a little bit different than I would say natural speak. But it's not digitized. It's not digitized. It's kind of hard to explain. It's almost real. It feels like if I didn't have anything on, but I can tell that there's something there. I don't know what it is. But anyways, the uh, hear through technology is good and it's also configurable. So you can increase it or decrease it, but you're not going to get super hearing in any way. So bass mids and highs are great. Hearing uh, transparency is good. Active noise canceling is, is there as well. But now we'll do our EVP man style audio test so you can hear what we heard. Make sure you're wearing your headphones. Check it out. You look at me like I'm crazy. 
Now the next thing we're gonna do is take a closer look at the app and so you can see what kind of functions you have. Now keep in mind that there is an app that's available also for the desktop, right? So we're gonna be looking at the mobile side of things. Uh, so basically what you have is the ability to turn on active noise canceling and things really melt away as soon as you turn it on. You can turn on here through technology and then again you can actually uh, modify uh, how much of that you want to be able to hear, right? And you can change that. And the same thing is when you're with the active noise canceling, you can do that as well. You can turn it off and you do have decent, uh, actually really good, uh, passive noise canceling. Uh, it almost though feels like when you do the, uh, the passive noise canceling, like you're, you're talking kind of like in a fishbowl, right? If, as, as I'm listening to myself, not through a phone call, but as I'm listening to myself right now as I'm being recorded. But again, one is with active noise, active noise on and one is with active noise off. Now with active noise on, uh, it really does a great job, right? Not only canceling noise around me, but even as I'm speaking, I have to speak a little bit louder in order to be able to hear myself. So I like that. Uh, here you also have your equalizer. And you can see I have mine set up to bass boost, so all our tests are done with bass boost. I turn on bass boost with the Jabber products. You have white noise generating, which is going to be great for focus. You then also have the busy uh, signal or light. So a little light turns on if you're on a phone call so that people don't bother you. You can turn that on or off, and then you can edit some of the widgets. If you go up here for a second, you do have the ability to look at your firmware settings, um, make uh, headset adjustments. Um, you know, you can basically look at all the functionality so you can adjust your headphone experience, right? So you can determine if the audio, audio pause takes place or not. You could also do um, a hearing profile test and then adjust it to fit your specific hearing profile so you can get the best audio experience there. You have call experience settings here. Um, you can determine how things work. Auto answer the calls, auto reject calls, um, auto mute with the boom arm, right? or use the on-ear detection. You know, take the headphones off when you want to have the mute function turned on. You can also set up how you want the auto mute function to work. So you can either have it based on the boom arm or you can have it on-ear, off-ear detection. So as soon as you turn up, take them off, they're going to go into mute. You do have a mute reminder tone that's going to tell you that you're on mute just in case you try to talk and someone's there. And then you have side tone, which I really like because side tone is going to uh, help you understand or hear yourself so you're not speaking really loud. You don't want to be one of those people, especially if you're in public. Uh, you have use ear cup um, microphone for calls, right? Have the boom arm up and then use the uh, ear cup, which we tested. And then what you have is the uh, call equalizer, right? So you can have more treble or bass if that's something you'd like to do. You have headphone con uh, configuration here through with ANC. You know, these are basically the different modes that your, your uh, headphone is going to operate in and that you'll be able to cycle through with the uh, multifunction button, battery consumption, you know, how should the actual head uh, set react when it comes to sleep and then you have your voice guidance versus tone right boom arm guidance and then you have um, some additional information when it comes to headset button sounds as well as on-ear detection right so you have those features there uh, you can check for your firmware you can personalize your headset to have your name uh, you have you can choose your assistant that you want to go with are you going to be going with android or with alexa oh and by the way if we uh, look at this if you do have the dongle connected, it's going to have a specific behavior, right? So when you say open a dial tone for Skype for business or start the voice assistant on your computer. So you can see that it, it kind of understands the differences, right, on to which one you're working with. And then here you can rate it as well as register and, and you have access to your guide. So really robust app, has a lot of capabilities, has a lot of features. 
And uh, one of the things that I, again, I prefer is just turning on bass boost anytime I listen to music on them. So guys, that wraps up our review of the Jabber Above 275. See you in the next video.